just to start off this video, I want to tell you guys that if you guys are getting messages that say hard disk is almost full, you can go to the Apple at the top left corner and then click about this Mac. You're obviously going to click on the storage tab and there it shows what kind of things are taking up certain amounts of storage. There's apps, movies, backups, audio, and photos. And a lot of times there's another big blue one called other. Now a lot of people don't know what the other storage is and normally can take up over 75% of the bar and 75% of your storage. So if you are experiencing that, I felt you, I still feel you, and this video will help you get rid of that other storage. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not seen this face before, make sure to hit that subscribe button below because we are almost at 200 subscribers. We are at 173 right now, I think. 173, do I have my phone? No, I think it's 173. We are so close, so make sure to share this video with your friends. Today, I'm gonna to be doing how to clear out other storage on your Mac. These tips that I'm about to give you literally saved my life as a YouTuber because I was not able to upload videos, I was not able to edit, and I was not able to do anything on my computer, and I ended up staying up until like, 3 a.m. on Fridays because I have classes all throughout the day and I wasn't able to make like quick and easy uploads. I had to like babysit it to make sure that my computer wouldn't shut down because of how less storage I had and it wouldn't like start crashing. So I totally recommend that you guys do these things because they are lifesavers. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. The first tip is that a lot of people delete photos off their computer thinking that it's gonna get rid of space. But a lot of people don't know, like, where do those photos go? As you all know, there's a recently deleted photos folder on your iPhone. But there's also one on your Mac. Now, it isn't in the album section of photos. It is in a kind of hidden library, I'd call it. I'd call it a hidden file. So I'm going to show you how to find that right now to get rid of tons and tons of space. So all your pictures go somewhere when you delete them and a lot of people don't know where they go so if they accidentally delete photos they won't be able to recover them or it takes up too much space. What I'm going to show you is how to find that hidden folder. What you do is you go to file and then show recently deleted and this is where all your photos stay for up to 40 days and can take up tons of space. But here you can delete all the photos permanently off your computer and you will clear so much space it is a lifesaver. Another thing I'm going to show you is that if you accidentally delete a photo that you want to keep, go to the same thing, file, show recently deleted, and then you can click on the photo you want and click recover. Next, I totally, totally, totally recommend that you get some sort of flash drive or expansion drive to kind of get rid of the things that you want to keep but don't want to keep on your computer. You know what I mean? Like pictures, memories, or videos that you and your friends took or you and your family, they can just stay on the expansion drive and stay neat and organized. I use a two terabyte expansion drive which literally saves my life. There is nothing this thing cannot store because it has so much storage. If you are a YouTuber, I totally recommend that you get one with a lot of storage like this because I'm constantly putting my other videos on here just in case something happens to them on YouTube. I'll always have them backed up on a drive. And then I have things like Maui and 4th of July that I just put on here and organized into folders on the drive, which is a great idea by the way. And now they're safe and they're not on my computer and I still have them. So I'm going to be showing you how to export those right now. Another great way to save space is exporting things that you want to keep onto an external drive or a flash drive to make sure that you have more space on your computer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select the photos that you wanna export and then go to File, Export, export the amount of photos or videos you want to and then put them on the drive. I recommend to export in like small chunks of 50 maybe because if you end up doing like 200 to 400, my computer started to crash and it slowed down and I had to restart it and restart the entire process. So do it slowly and then once your export is complete, select all the photos that you just exported onto your drive and you can permanently delete them off your computer using the recently deleted folder and you will slowly create more and more space for yourself. The next thing is a lot of people don't know that iTunes actually stores 
every single backup that you make onto your computer. Now, I back up my phone a lot because I take a ton of pictures and I wanna put my pictures on there and then I also wanna transfer music from my computer to my phone. So after I did this, I got rid of about 11 to 15 GB, which I know is not that much, but it is a great start to just get things moving a little bit faster on your computer. So make sure to do that and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And it doesn't get rid of any data on your phone or your computer, so you're totally fine and do not worry about that. Start by opening iTunes and then going to the bar and going to iTunes and clicking preferences. What you're going to do is you're going to click on devices and there it'll have every backup you've ever done and then you just click on it and click delete backup. This will not delete any data off your phone or your computer so do not worry about that. Last but definitely, definitely, definitely not least is deleting the iMovie library. Now I know you must be like, wait, no, 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 I don't want to delete iMovie. Don't worry, it does not delete the app and it reappears every single time you open up iMovie again with a fresh, clean, zero GB, zero MB storage taken up so you can start your videos with enough storage so that your computer won't start crashing and so that you can upload to YouTube perfectly. So I'm going to show you how to do that and guys, the first time I did this, I had 189 GB in that iMovie library folder. I was blown away. Like when I deleted it, it was like a weight off my back. I was like, how did this happen? And combined with everything else I did before, I had about 200 GB free and it was a lifesaver. My computer runs so much faster now. So yeah. I'm going to show you guys how to do that and also side note, don't do this if you have works in progress on iMovie, always export them out onto your computer or onto an external drive and then you can do this step and then you can edit faster. So I totally recommend doing this and I'll show you how to do it now. First you're going to start by opening Finder and then going to the Go tab. You're going to go to Home and then open it. Make sure it is in the rightmost viewing option because that's the only way you're going to be able to see everything. Go to movies and then my movie library only has a couple of GB because I clean this out every time I do it. But as I said before, when I first did this, I had 189 GB so it cleared so much space. And then all you have to do after dragging it to the trash is empty the trash and it will be gone, but not forever. Don't worry, this reappears every time you make a new iMovie. And yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope it spared you all that time that it took me to try to figure all these things out. I hope that this was as helpful for you as it was helpful for me because now I can upload faster and I know the stress of having to upload on time on the day that you have to upload. So this should make it 10 times easier for you. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can reach 200 subs. Let's also get to 100 followers on my Instagram. It is at everything Arushi. We are almost there. Right now, I think we are at 76, something like that. So we're almost there. And we're also almost at 3,500 views. We're at 3,270, I don't know. 3,270, something around there. I know we are super duper close. We are almost there. So 3,500 shouldn't be an unmutual goal. We should be able to reach there with ease. But share this video with your friends so maybe we can even make our goal 4,000. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.